Hi, it's TK with the Weekly Words of Encouragement. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and picked apart your appearance? If you're anything like me, then you've spent time criticizing every aspect of how you look under the microscope of an unattainable standard of beauty. We are constantly bombarded with images of this unrealistic standard. But guess what? The people in those images don't meet the standard either. They look that way because of Photoshop, makeup, cosmetic surgery, unreasonable gym routines. So today I want you to know this truth. You are beautiful because God made you in his image. I will admit I have struggled for most of my life with low self-esteem regarding my looks and my body type. Growing up, I often compared myself to the popular kids at school and the models I saw in magazines and actors I saw on TV and even strangers on the street. This tendency continued into adulthood, expanding my sources of comparison to the college campus and the work environment. And now I find myself doing the same thing with images I see on social media. It's exhausting. I have believed that my value as a person is based on my external looks, which allowed the enemy to sow seeds of doubt, distrust, and deception in my heart. I couldn't seem to find contentment with just being one of God's beautiful creations. And as those seeds of doubt grew over time, so did my discontentment about my appearance and my value. I struggled to accept that I have beauty and value just because God made me on purpose and with a purpose. This discontentment was devastating when I was an adolescent developing my identity. But to be completely honest, I still struggle with being content with what I see in the mirror. More often than not, I'm my own worst critic. Yet I am thankful that God reminds me of two very important points that I want to share with you. One, I am made in his image. And two, he made me. So I am beautiful. Maybe not by society standards or even by my own unrealistically high standards, but I am beautiful by his standards. And those are the only standards that matter. And in case you're wondering, you are beautiful too. Let's unpack these two reminders. First, according to Genesis 1, chapter 1, verse 27, all humans are made in the image of God. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. This means we all have God's divine imprint built into our very being. So when we look in the mirror, see that number on the scale, or notice that the picture we posted on social media didn't get as many likes as we had hoped, we need to remember that we wear God's image and we are beautiful and valuable for that reason alone. My study Bible says, we are a reflection of God's glory. Knowing that we are made in God's image provides a solid basis for self-worth. Because we bear God's image, we can feel positive about ourselves. Criticizing or downgrading ourselves is criticizing what God has made. Wow. So when I'm hard on myself, I'm devaluing God's creation. God doesn't want me to degrade any of his creation, and that includes me. Talking bad about myself is no different than talking bad about someone else. In both instances, I'm ignoring the divine imprint of God 
on one of his creations. I used to think that talking down about myself was a form of humility, but self-deprecation is not humility. Being critical of ourselves is telling God he made a mistake. So we have to remember that God is perfect and he knows what he's doing in creating us in his image. Second, not only am I made in his image, he also made me. He knit me together in my mother's womb. I love Psalm 139. This Psalm of David offers so much encouragement. Verses 13 and 14 state, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. This means we are all an original, unique design made by the hands of God. Our creation was intentional. We are not an accident. As a child, I used to say I was an accident because my mom wasn't expecting to get pregnant with me so soon after having my older sister. We're only about 13 or 14 months apart in age, but I wasn't an accident and neither are you. God knew us before we were born because he made us. Wow. I like what Dr. Tony Evans says in his Bible commentary. No matter the circumstances surrounding your conception, no matter your ethnicity or gender, your existence is intentional. You are not a mistake, for God makes no mistakes. You are, you are created in the image of God with purpose and meaning. This truth is to be the foundation of a person's self-worth and self-esteem. Regardless of the standards set by society or my own impossible standards, I am beautiful because God made me in his image and I am his. So I don't need to compare myself to the airbrushed model with the perfect hair and perfectly applied makeup and stylish clothes or to the fitness buff who doesn't have a chubby face to match a chubby body. I am beautiful just the way I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God by the hands of God. And so are you. I pray you have a blessed week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.